I know, uh, speaking of royalties, not, not to digress too much on that, but I know, uh, Cornette said for, uh, he, he knows, like, beyond a shadow of a doubt that the WWE Network destroyed these, the, like, the, the videotape DVD royalty thing. He said it completely destroyed that. Because he said, until the WWE Network launched, and I guess today he still gets, like, checks in the mail, like, royalties and stuff from WWE, but he said he used to get, like, pretty good sized checks for, like, you know, DVDs sold that he was on. Now he said he gets, like, five bucks a year or something like that. Well, he can, he's got his Patreon money, he's fine. Oh, yeah, well, he, he, he doesn't have to worry about that crap. I, who the hell is paying for Patreon for this guy, by the way? AEW haters? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, because, like, my thing with uh, Cornette is, like, if anybody actually looks at his podcast, he does two a week, and both of them are, range anywhere from, like, two to three and a half hours long. So, how much effing Cornette do you need in your life where that's not enough? I, I can't even, I can't imagine loving anyone that much. From the clips on YouTube, I assume his whole show is just AEW bashing. Uh, that's his most popular stuff, but there, I, I know there for a while he was reviewing Raw and SmackDown, but he cut that off pretty quickly. Uh, he only did that for like two months, and then he gave up. He'll review WWE pay-per-views and stuff, though, so... I don't know. And then he'll talk about the good old days and go through his, his old notebooks that he, he kept, like, the weirdest effing notes of all time. Well, he's a historian. I mean, I respect that. It it is cool, but it's just like he's man, no, you... he's no Bill Apter, but he, he's a story. Yeah, right. Yeah, and uh, Bill Apter, by the way, the only guy writer or someone, whatever I can respect. That's it. Yeah, I've never heard anybody in or out of the business ever complain that that damn Bill Apter. You see what he's printing? <laughs> so it's like uh, the Burt Sugar of wrestling. I don't know, you know if you know who that is, but yeah, uh, the name sounds familiar. He's a boxing historian, probably like the greatest one ever. Ah, okay. You've probably seen stock footage of him. He always wears a hat. He's got a suit on. I think he always had a cigar in his hand. Well, that, if that doesn't yell, I'm with the boxers, <laughs> then I don't know what does. <laughs> Spoiler, he was white, by the way. Uh, yeah, go figure. Just say, like, every old white grandpa ever. I believe my grandpa might have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, uh, <laughs> the point I was going to make is, like, kind of the anti-cornet here, but it's kind of it, it fits, but it's like, you're giving that much time and that much money to Cornette. It's like, the most devout Christians don't give that much time to Jesus throughout the week, all right? Oh, man. A so couple when he bucks talk- on the collection plate trumps 15, 20 bucks, whatever they're paying on his uh, Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Plus all the merch they buy from him. Oh, gotta buy that one of him pissing on uh, Vince Russo's grave. It's kind of funny has- how we're literally comparing donating money to God and the devil. I just, I love that. <laughs> right. 